Okay, so we're going to be making this uh, floor plan here. It's a three-bedroom uh, ranch house, um, and uh, we're going to try to look at this and get this going. But before we get started, we want to set AutoCAD up. So we've got it open, ready to run. Um, what we want to do is change some things because we don't want to use uh, our, our units are going to be wrong. So change your units initially. Oops, there we go, units. Um, you're going to change your units to architectural, and we're just going to go to zero, zero there and click on that we'll be okay there okay uh, the next thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and switch to this because we're gonna be doing stuff in 2d and we'll switch from 3d modeling back to 2d annotation alright and then um, we'll worry about things like uh, oh well let's just go ahead and set it up now we'll go to the annotation um, we're gonna annotate here we're gonna look at dimension style here and We'll just modify what we have existing already, so that should all be the same, except we're going to change our primary units here from uh, decimal to architectural, and we want it to be into inches, down to inches. Um, and our fit, we're going to probably uncheck annotative and switch this to something like, oh, I don't know, about 30 ought to be good. We'll get there later on. Oh, modify, forgot. We want to change the, the arrows to the architectural ticks. And then we should be okay from there. Okay. All right. So when we go back to this, we're going to look at this house, right? We're not going to worry about things like the porch or anything outside of the house, the stoop. We're not going to worry about that. This line right here. It's some kind of weird shelf or something like that in there. We're not going to worry about that either. We're going to look at the overall length of this house is 48, 4. And the overall width of this house is 24, 4. So as we go through here, we're going to look at those kinds of things. We're just going to go ahead and start by doing something like creating an X line. Um, we might even go in here and create a new layer. Uh, we'll create a new layer right here. So we'll go up to, where's the layers at? Layers are right here. And we're going to create a new layer, and we'll call it Construction. Right, And we're going to uh, click this part right here. This is where we plot it, and we don't want to plot this construction layer. And to make it visible, we're going to change the color to yellow. So it'll be very visible, and we'll just click, click this right here, and we're good. So now if I come in and I type an X line, um, I can type XL, or and it'll, it'll come right up, XL, and enter. And then I would say I want to do one that's horizontal. I might go to a point right about here and do it, and then hit enter, and then do XL and do vertical and enter. And I'll do one somewhere. I didn't want it right there. I'll put it right here. All right. So um, I don't know how it selected that as a midpoint. But when I do offset, um, I want to offset that 58 foot 4 because the outside exterior dimensions is what we're looking to do for exterior walls. So we'll offset this. I'm going to click offset. And I'm literally going to type in 5, 8 feet, 4 inches and hit enter. And then offset this line this direction right click and enter and if I zoom back enough I should be able to find that right so then the other one we want to offset 24 feet exactly so 24 feet from this exterior wall to that exterior wall so when it offset I'm gonna put 24 feet and put that in and offset that so that's the exterior of my house right there okay so next thing we're gonna do is um all our exterior walls are how thick? Six inches thick. So we'll offset six inches and we'll offset that one this way, this one this way, this one this way, and this one this way. Um, so now we've got exterior walls uh, completed. The other one that's going to be an exterior wall is actually this one through the middle here for our garage is an exterior wall. And there's supposed to be a line right here that continues down. It's 14 foot 4 up there on the top. Architects don't worry about over dimensioning stuff um, like we do in engineering. So now we'll go up here and we're going to offset 14 foot 4 inches. And that gets from the exterior here to the exterior there. And we'll offset 6 inches again. Um, <laughs> offset 14 foot 4 inches let's do that one enter and then offset 6 inches one more time and get this one right here so now we've got those those walls kind of figured out um, now we're still gonna we're gonna continue to uh, work 
in with these uh, construction lines but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this right here I'm gonna go back to this one and I want to add uh, change that layer to back to the, that um, a layer that'll print and I'm gonna go from that there to here come across to to that intersection to this intersection to this intersection and just kinda print right over top of those um, we're gonna do the same thing here on the inside we'll go from that intersection to this intersection to this intersection to that one to this one um, we'll print again going from this intersection to that intersection and or make a line from here to here all right so uh, now what we don't want to do is uh, well let's see we don't need this line anymore we don't need that line anymore the in so we can just go ahead and delete those we don't need this line and we don't need this line anymore but now we have our exterior walls there we may or may not need those lines right there but what we're gonna do is click on trim right click oops click trim right click and then click the little piece out of there because that you do have to cut that out um, so we make sure we get that out of there all right so now we've got those walls in, in place let's look at this so the next thing we're gonna do is to, to kind of work our way through here is we're gonna go back over here to this part and start working our way back um, that way um, so I'm gonna come over and offset I'm not worried about this um, I'm gonna offset nine foot nine inches and we'll get to the center of an interior wall there all right so um, we'll come over here we're gonna offset nine foot eight inches And that gets us to the middle of that wall. Then at this point, we'll go ahead and offset, since interior walls are four inches thick, we're going to offset two. And we're going to go this way and this way. All right. So now we've got that wall established. This wall is actually going to become a, a uh, just a regular object line. So we'll change that by clicking on them and then clicking on that layer right there. So now we get, we're back out of this layer. All right, so we're going to change this back to construction line because we don't want to do we don't want to draw anything in construction line, and then uh, have to uh, it won't print. But we need to use the construction lines to dimension. Now I don't need this entire construction line. I don't think um, at this point maybe I will. Um, we could get, it could get really confusing, but because we're you guys are starting out on this, I don't want to get too confusing. So um, we'll just click trim again, and I'm going to click on let's see. I'll right click there and click trim on that and trim on this one. I'm going to trim that out and trim that out. And um, so now, because you, you don't want to trim those little pieces that go beyond that, we're just going to erase this line and this line. So now we've got this wall established, which is this wall right here. But that wall is only four foot eight. Um, so we'll go back in here um, to AutoCAD. We're going to offset four foot eight inches and go over here so that establishes where that wall is I'm gonna offset two inches and go into your wall here and here so um, then uh, let's see what we don't want to do is uh, oh, so we can do some trim in here let's trim and we're gonna trim uh, oh wait let's do this let's go ahead and change this one and this one we'll change these to zero layer so they're object layers now and now we're gonna go ahead and click trim and so we're gonna trim this and this this uh, oh no I didn't want to do that one um, we want to make a corner there so we're gonna trim this oops man I'm messing this up right click right click so we're gonna trim that and that we can't trim that out or can we so we could trim this one this one I had messed that up again I don't want to do that trim I want to get a good sharp corner on this here we go trim and then I'm gonna I'm going to select my cutting edges I'm gonna select this is a cutting edge this is a cutting edge this is a cutting edge and this is a cutting edge then I'll right click with the mouse and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all of this I'm gonna get rid of this and this um, I might, have hit, go, might as well go ahead and get rid of that. I'll get rid of this. 
All right, so maybe I did a, had a little mistake right there, um, but it's easy enough to fix because I'll just go ahead and click this, take that grip, and drag it out to there. Um, we can also then extend this if we want to. Right-click, extend that out to there, and then I'll click Trim, right-click, and then click that little bit off. So now I got that center line of that established. Um, all right, so then let's go back to here and look. Four foot eight. The depth of the closet is two foot six. So we'll go over here and we're going to offset two foot six inches and go this way. Two foot six inches there. Um, this goes out beyond this. So I'm going to grab that grip and just kind of go out a little bit with the ortho on F8. So I'll do that and um, with that ortho on. And then uh, we're ready to. Uh, Offset again, we'll offset two inches. This one and this one. That looks a little, no, it looks about right. Click on these two right here. We're going to change those to object layers, to the object layer. Um, and then we're ready to, this was open in that room. So we're going to use this as a cutting edge. So we'll click on trim, use this one as a cutting edge here. Right click and get rid of this. We'll go ahead and get rid of that and that. Two, we'll do the same click use trim on this one use this as a cutting edge and we're going to get rid of this this and this okay so now we're ready to just kind of we can do some other things in here where we can grab that go to this grab this and go to this grab here and go to here so we're just moving grips at this point um, so we're, we should be good all right so we'll stop this video here and move on to, at the next video